All right, well, we finally got some great weather for Montreal Jazz Fest. Uh, this is my full day three. Um, and yeah, the plan today is we're going to check out the press room, see if anybody's available for interviews. We had that great interview with Linda May Han O oh, um, yesterday, and I'm speaking with Christian Scott at Tunde Ajua tomorrow about his new record. So we're going to see if anyone else is available to talk today. And then we got a lineup of great concerts tonight. George Benson on the docket, Roberto Fonseca on the docket, Christian Scott tonight, Diane Reeves. Uh, some of those concerts overlap, but we're going to try to get at least a little bit of everybody in and uh, have a review over to you soon. Um, anyway, yeah, it's a gorgeous day. We may check out Mount Royal, the actual Mont Royal that Montreal is named after, and uh, explore there a little bit too. So I just wanted to check in. This is... Uh, Day three of my five day trip to Montreal Jazz Fest. All right, so as you can see, the festival is in full swing uh, here on July 1st in Montreal. Uh, but this day is actually a holiday, it's Canada Day. Uh, it's a federal holiday, so a lot of the stores, a lot of the restaurants, a lot of the shops, even the banks are closed. So you really get to concentrate on. Uh, you know, just being at the fest and uh, it's about four o'clock here so yet to start up with some of the evening performances which usually hit about uh, five o'clock but we're just kind of perusing the festival grounds and the plan is actually walk about a mile from this downtown core to see Mount Royal the uh, mountain that Montreal was named after. Uh, it's about a mile from this city square. That's a good walk, you know, a 30-ish minute walk. But it's worth it because it's absolutely stunning. Um, it's gorgeous. Had we gone yesterday, there's actually a big kind of drum circle meetup. That's pretty cool. Uh, it lasts all day just at the foot of the mountain, people jamming out. We're gonna go make the walk on what is a warm summer day now. Uh, probably a good day to splash in one of these fountains to see what's going on. So we'll check back in again when we're approaching Mount Royal. Okay, so as you can see, we have made it to the foot of Mount Royal. It's about a 25-30 minute walk um, straight up from Park, which is one of the roads that uh, leads out from the Montreal Jazz Fest. And it's a beautiful day. You see a lot of sunbathers out here. And look, we get our drum circle after all. Um, but yeah, this is one of the park's entrances. There's a monument there. And this, you know, this park is huge. This is just the very base of it. But, uh, you know, we'll try to explore some head on up into the mountain. Well, it's not really a mountain. It's more like a, well, it's more like a mount. Um, but it's beautiful, you know, it's forested, trees, trails, and everyone out here today, because as I mentioned, it is Canada Day, so you see a lot of people in, repping their Canadian pride, a lot of red maple leaves, Canada shirts, families out and about, enjoying this beautiful day. Downtown Montreal, kind of in the background. Again, this beautiful monument, kind of signaling the entrance to the park. And so we'll go explore a little bit. We'll see what's going on here. I'm gonna go too far uh, up the mountain here. As you can hear in the background, we still uh, can hear those drummers. But this is an example of this kind of one of the trails the shaded trails that lead up and through Mount Royal. Um, as you can see, it's just beautiful in here. Uh, and there are, there are bike trails and running trails that also wind their way through the mountain. You see a lot of bikers, a lot of runners, especially today. Um, and people really do hike up here. It is definitely steep, 
So if you decide to come, be pre prepared for that. But um, otherwise, it's gorgeous. It isn't too hot today. Um, the sun is out, but it's probably in the 80s or so. In the shade, it's gorgeous. And yeah, perfect day for a stroll around Mount Royale. Something to do when you're not listening to music, maybe have some downtime during the fest. Totally worth coming and spending an hour or two at. Back on the scene, we're headed once again to Jesu to see Roberto Fonseca, but I thought we'd stop by at the main TD stage out here and check out Steve Amiro, who's playing with his ensemble, as you can see. Pack now. We're uh, like probably 50 some odd people deep crowd and more coming. But they have screens set up so everyone can see. Yeah. Got a nice little funk shuffle here. What sounds like a Fender Rhodes being played. That's a very distinctive sound. get as close as we can before uh, heading over to Roberto and we'll just listen to some of the music. So for some of the really popular acts, you'll get crowds all the way back here set up there to watch and uh, it's getting bright but yeah this is what we're talking about this is the Montreal Jazz Fest all right well we're headed in to uh, see George Benson now and it is as I wait into the darkness here absolutely packed. People are streaming in. Um, very excited to see George. It's got to be the one of the biggest headliners of, of this year's festival. Um, kind of a marquee event. So it should be a good show. We'll be playing uh, music from his new album, which explores uh, the contributions of like early rock pioneers, Fats Domino, people like that. Uh, but I'm sure he's going to be playing tunes from throughout his discography. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a good one. And I uh, can't wait to see it, and I'll chat to you about it after I get out. All right, well, slight change of plans. George Benson was completely sold out, as in no media tickets. There were scalpers selling tickets to go see George Benson. That's how popular the show was. Um, ditto for Christian Scott. So, instead, we are going to go see Diane Reeves, vocalist supreme. And uh, ain't nothing wrong with that, because she puts on a great show. Um, and you know it's going to be swinging. So I'm headed back to the Plaza des Arts, and we're going to go check out uh, Diane Reeves' set. I'll have a recap for you afterwards. I thought while we were waiting for Diane Reeves, we'd check out the merch tent, starting with the wall of vinyl here. From uh, this looks like Blue Note, and there's Lee Morgan Sidewinder. Yeah, ECM. We come on over to ECM. Very cool. Both of which are celebrating major anniversaries. ECM is their 50th anniversary. Blue Note celebrating their 80th. T-shirts here. Jean jackets. Hats and trusted umbrellas. A lot of good stuff here. We'll come around here to the T-shirts. We come around to the CDs of all the artists. There's Brian Adams, he's headlining. All of the uh, artists that play the fest, they sell their wares here. More vinyl, classic stuff it looks like. And so yeah, that's the merch tent. Always a good place to stop on by when you're in Montreal. Okay, so we are emerging from the Place des Arts. Diane Reed's show was incredible. Um, I didn't know this going in, but it was in celebration of her album Bridges. It's 
20th anniversary of the recording of that album, so she's doing a lot of material from that. And the band uh, was phenomenal. She was with uh, Romero Lubambo on guitar, and she explained uh, how they had met in Brazil in the 90s and have been collaborators ever since. And Romero's playing is just gorgeous, especially on the uh, nylon acoustic. Um, yeah, it was a great set. If you've never seen a Diane Reeves show, she does a lot of patter. She does a lot of, and she sings usually her stories in between sets. So there was this whole sung story about how the airline lost her luggage um, and uh, just about meeting Celia Cruz in a club in L.A. It was very funny. It's very entertaining. And then get this, Miracle of Miracles, only in Montreal. I did get to see George Benson after all. Um, I got in standing room only, and just as I um, expected, he did, did a lot of stuff from his new album, tributes to Chuck Berry, uh, told stories about meeting Chuck Berry, and then went through all his old hits, you know, uh, This Masquerade, On Broadway, uh, Give Me the Night, Love Ballad, it was awesome. People were on their feet. Um, I've never heard applause that loud at a Montreal show, so it all worked out at the end. Um, we're cruising on over to Jesu once again to check out Vincent Pirani, a, uh, a, an accordion player, a French accordion player. So we'll get a little taste of France while we're in Montreal. Um, and just cruising by the main stage here. Nice funk in the background. Yeah, that's a nice groove. All right, cool. Well, that was a nice set by accordionist Vincent Pirani. Um, it was a great band, and it was a lot of different vibes. You know, on the one hand, it was just like these simple but beautiful, you know, nicely crafted folkloric melodies. And then there were these big, sprawling, uh, kind of like ambient soul jazz, Alice Coltrane, leave your heart on the stage uh, jam outs. And then the other cool thing to know about Vincent is he's, uh, he's a huge metalhead. So... There was a, a medley there of uh, Zeppelin tunes, Cashmere and Stairway to Heaven. Um, it was a great show. He puts on a great show. He's a big, tall French dude, plays the accordion barefoot. Um, yeah, heavy metal on an accordion, you know, the things you hear at Montreal. So that'll do it for me tonight. Uh, we'll revisit it uh, for what will be my day four tomorrow.